Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Razr from 2022 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can see that phone I have right here is locked. So normally you would need to provide the previously set up pattern, at least in this case, password or also PIN depending on what it was protected with or Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those we will just bypass this. So anyway, let's get started. So uh, to get started, you'll want to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page or well, technically progress in your case, connect to some kind of network. So you can see I have already done so. And from here, uh, we will now back out again the beginning of the setup right over here, select vision settings and you wanna select talkback Enable it. I'm gonna turn down the volume of it just because it's a little bit distracting to me. It's not a requirement, but if it's distracting to you, you can feel free to turn it down. Anyway, uh, from here, you want to draw a mirrored L on the screen, uh, kind of like this. This will bring up a little window, allow Android a a accessibility suit to record audio. Gonna double tap on the selected option, selected meaning with the green outline. Uh, use voice commands to control talkback. Select use voice commands by tapping on it once. And before we double tap on it, I'm gonna quickly go into uh, the next step because it will need to be verbally said to the device instead of just as you would normally do, ta touch it. So once you double tap on it, the phone will activate Google Assistant or voice commands. Uh, so you want to say open Google Assistant, that will open Google Assistant and you wanna then follow up by selecting or not selecting, saying open YouTube. So I'll do it right now and you can hear how to do it. Open Google Assistant. Open Google. Oh, Jesus, not Google. What am I saying? Uh, meant to say YouTube. Let's try that again. Come on, go back. Let's try this again. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. There we go. Um, so once I fixed my mistake, uh, you can see we are now on YouTube. So now we will want to turn off Google, or not Google, but the talkback so we can actually just use the phone normally. So hold volume up and down at the same time. Try that again. Ah, there we go. So it brings up this window, select turn on, then double tap on it, and then hold the two keys again. And now we can use our screen normally. So from here, click on the account icon, settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. Accept and continue, and no thanks. Obviously this will take us to our browser, so from here, I'm gonna navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. Now, if you need a moment to type this yourself, do pause the video. From here, let's select consent and scroll down to settings, click on it. And then here we're gonna navigate to apps. Then you wanna select see all 40 something apps or however many it shows for you. And then click on the three dots and sh select show system apps. There we go. Now, once you see the system apps, start off by selecting Android setup. So it's right over here. And you wanna select for stop and okay. And go back. And next you're gonna scroll down to Google Play services. There we go, Google Play Services. Select it, choose disable, disable app, and first stop, and okay. Now from here, I'm gonna back out, 
and we're gonna back out once more and once more to the main settings page then you're gonna scroll down to accessibility right over here and you're gonna select accessibility mini enable it select allow and this adds this little thing right over here got it so uh, now that we have added this we're gonna now just spam the back button until we get to this setup page again Now, I also recommend just muting the sound just because it might get a little bit annoying. So, um, now we can progress through the setup just a little bit till we get to... Next, I think. Ah, there we go, to this page. So, we should be stuck on this page, if I'm correct. If not on this one, then on the next one. I guess we'll see. We should see like a glitch right here. I think it's going to be on the next page. So let's give it a moment. We should see the pop up next to set up the device as new or something like that or don't copy. I think it is. So ah, there we go. So it's like don't copy and there we go. Checking for updates and it should be stuck on this page. Uh, this is usually, uh, it would start checking for updates and then give us the uh, locked screen. So we need to verify the uh, Google account or like I showed you at the beginning. But now it's going to be stuck here because we have turned off Google Play services. And now what we want to do is click on this accessibility menu. I'm going to select assistant and settings. And you want to select enable button for Google Play, uh, uh, the Google Play services. So let's try that. This might take several tries uh, before we can actually enable it. There we go. So I finally managed to enable it. As you can see, it took me about like, what, 10, 20 tries maybe. So if it's not working out for you, don't get discouraged. Just keep on trying it. Uh, I have a theory though, I don't, I'm not sure if it's correct, that the faster you try to do it, so the faster you spam these options, uh, the better the chances of you getting here and activating this uh, are. Anyway, once you enabled your Google Play services, you wanna select back once. As you can see, this completely skips over the verification process and brings us straight to the next page, which is uh, just services. So I'm gonna select more, accept, and I will now be able to finish up the setup. Now keep in mind the phone is still locked, so you want to skip everything that it, uh, gives you the option to skip. And the reason for that is we just want to get to the end of the setup so we can have access to our actual home screen. So just choose whatever is quickest. And from here, I'm gonna now navigate straight to settings. Scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, and then select erase all data. Do that once more, and this will begin factory resetting your device. So the reason we want to do this as a last step is when you perform a factory reset of the phone through settings, when well, we have access to a home screen, it will remove everything from a device that includes a pin, pattern, passwords, Google accounts, and all that stuff. So the device will, right now by performing this, fully unlock itself. So I'm not gonna go over the over this reset on the video just because it's a factory reset and shows you absolutely nothing. And once it's completed, uh, we will then be taken back to the setup screen. Now, at that point, you can set up your phone however you want. It will be fully unlocked, so you can skip connecting to Wi-Fi if you want to. You can add your Google account, set up whatever you want. Uh, but you do want to go through this last process by selecting Erase All Data right now. So anyway, this would be how we can bypass the Google uh, protection on this phone. And uh, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like. Subscribe and thanks for watching.